Once a week, I'm going to challenge you with a small and simple task. These tasks should take no more than 10 to 15 minutes. And the goal of these challenges is to help you learn not only Godot, but also problem solving. You can access the challenges in real time before I release the solution a week before in my Patreon. Link is down below. All right, jumping right in. Uh, our setup, we're going to need a character body 2D with a player, basically. Um, here for my picture, I just have a Godot icon as always. And then really important, we're going to need two ray casts. Now, these ray casts are ray cast 2D, right? So you can add it by searching up ray cast. Now, I've renamed them to ray left and ray right. And I've changed the position for one to be on the left and one to be on the right. I've made it so it's uh, 15 pixels long. It doesn't have, it doesn't really matter, um, but it, you know, 15 pixels is more than enough. As long as it's uh, longer than the player, then it should work. All right. Now for the script, the script I'm going to use is very similar to well, it's the uh, default settings that we get or the default script we get um, with the player, right? Now, what we're going to do first is we're going to need to store the direction outside. And we'll default this to 1. So 1 means that we're going to go to the left. Negative 1 means, or sorry, to the right. And then negative 1 means we're going to the left, which means we can now delete this. We don't need that. And we also don't need the jump, right? Because this is an AI kind of thing. So we shouldn't be controlling it at all. We also can just delete this because it should be moving at all times. It never stops. Now, what we'll do is we're going to uh, preload or auto load kind of. Uh, and the way that works is on ready, right? So we're going to on ready variable um, our ray left and ray right. So now we have access to our rays. Now what we'll do is we're going to check to see if the ray left is not colliding. If we're not colliding on the ray left, that means that my player has moved off the platform on the left side. If that happens, I want my player to now go to the right. So what I'll do is I'll just say direction equal to one. And then similarly, we'll do the other side. So we'll say if ray right is not colliding, then that means I've hit the right side of my platform and I want to switch directions to the left. That's it. That is how simple this is. All you really need is two different uh, ray ray collisions. And now if I play, you can now see that my uh, AI guy just want, runs to the left and right. Obviously, you can adjust the speed to whatever you'd like. Um, but this is the default 300. And this works fine. All right, that is it for this uh, solution. I'll hopefully see you guys next week. Um, hopefully this comes out on time as well, because last week I did not. But yeah, I'll see you guys next week for the next uh, problem.